I love the kids that I work with more than anything and that's why I came here and that's why I come to Kailicha every day is because I know that this is what I'm supposed to be doing and I know that I might not be able to help the millions of people who are infected with HIV but I know that this is my piece and so I'm going to do it no matter what. This thing of helping children, it's not something that you, it's given to somebody. It's a passion. I'm from New York originally, and I've been living in South Africa for almost three years now. During my junior year of college, I spent the entire year in Cape Town, and I began volunteering at an orphanage in Kailicha. I saw so many young people, children, people my age, dying of HIV. And the thing that struck me the most is that they were completely alone. I really saw this as my place where I could make a difference. HIV is such a huge disease and a lot of people want to turn their heads away and say it's, you know, it's a drop in a bucket, we can't do anything. Whitney is just, I can say she's an angel from, from God. Because she came out of the blue, coming to this Kailicha, you know, go to various houses, and she has not fears. I'm not sure about health protection, how much is she protected from those kids. And she doesn't mind to pick up them and kiss them, whereas they've got a lot of wounds and stuff, so I think it's dangerous. I thought maybe I was going to lose the child because he was very sick, but since uh, he take his ARVs and he was also going to this project Ubuntu, now he is strong. Some of the um, kids, they, they like they swear to him. They said, "You, you've got HIV. You are this and that." But he's not crying anymore now. They call us names, but we don't worry. The areas that we go into, where our kids live, people get murdered. There's a lot of guns. There's a lot of knives being pulled. People that live in Kailicha are afraid. For Whitney, it is very dangerous. What is she doing? There's a lot of corruption in Kailicha. So if they say white face, they say a man. Most of the children that we work with at Ubuntu Africa have lost parents to HIV. We have a few kids whose parents have been murdered. We only have one kid at the moment who has both a mother and a father. What is the first? It's one of the biggest decisions that I've ever made in my life to work with those kids because I love them and when they see me they see a father. So we are here to give them hope. At the moment we have around 40 children. All of our funding at the moment comes from private donors in the United States. It's a big struggle, especially with the economy. Um, failing, it, it gets even harder to raise enough money to run our center. <laughs> These 
These are my kids. I don't want to let my kids die. A lot of people ask me if I want to set up a funeral fund. They say kids with HIV don't have any hope. I know that my kids can live long, healthy, normal lives. After HIV positive, there's still life for them. And we're here to love them. Yeah. I couldn't do anything else with my life because this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I know beyond any doubt that I am meant to be here. I'm a rabbit, 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 I